Okay, people, I have something to share with you. I need you to try it first before showing you. Um, they do this 12 millimeter rod thing. And do you need to add something like a nanomotor to the 12 millimeter rod, which some people want to do, or add something else that has a 15 millimeter hole? You can get these very cheap adapter things. Um, let me show you this. There are two different versions you can get. This is a 12 millimeter rod. You can buy rods and cut them to different lengths, which is what I did with this one. It's a hollow one. Um, of course, I did first get a solid one. It doesn't weigh that much more. Amazon also sell these. It's uh, basically, it's a bicycle. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's a bicycle adapter thing. Um, so this is 15 mil. The rod, of course, is 12. What you do is just uh, scrape your rod, scrape a bit of the inside, put some epoxy glue, bang, put it in. The one I'm using here is this cheap one from China. It's also the same thing, a bicycle adapter. I don't know what it's for. It's, I don't know what it's for, something for their wheels. Um, inner tube is, inner hole is 12 mil. The outer is 15. So it works perfectly. That's what's glued on this, you know? Scrape it inside, put it on, bang, you know? And uh, yeah, you're done, you know? And uh, you can also buy 12 millimeter rods with different lengths. I think I bought a 200 mil, cut it to 15 to get this at a good position for the 18 to 35 on a pocket 4K, so yeah. Uh, that's just what I want to share with you guys that you can easily easily put a 15 mil uh, Adapter sleeve thingy on your 12 mil rod. 